When it comes to conductivity, substances fall into two categories. Conductors which conduct electricity easily because of free electrons, and insulators which oppose electricity making poor conductors. Metals are the best conductors of electricity because their outer electrons are delocalized. The structure of metals can be likened to atoms embedded in a sea of electrons. This sea of electrons can be mobilized by supplying voltage to create an electrical current, allowing the metal to conduct electricity. There are also non-metallic conductors of electricity. Graphite, which is comprised of carbon layers with free electrons, is a good conductor. The presence of dissolved table salt in water increases the conductivity of water due to the charges of the chlorine and sodium ions. Plasma particles, which are extremely heated gases that turn into ions, also conduct electricity extremely well. Insulators are substances that do not conduct electricity well, due to their lack of free electrons. Examples of insulators are glass, plastic, ceramic, and rubber. Most wires are coated with either plastic or rubber to prevent the electricity from escaping. This is why the safest place to be during a thunderstorm is a car. This is because the tires are made out of rubber and are the only points of contact with the ground. If the lightning strikes the ground, they will not conduct the electricity from the lightning bolt. Another example of insulators at work is power lines, which use porcelain insulators to carry high voltage wires and keep the lines safe. Any material can be categorized as a conductor or an insulator or somewhere in between. Typically metals are utilized as conductors and plastics and rubbers are utilized as insulators. Thank you for watching.